Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to talk about the stratified random sampling. So join me in the discussion. In the previous video, you learned about determining the sample size in a quantitative study using the Slovens formula. Now, in our example, we use the population of the whole junior high school department, and using the 5% margin of error, we figured out that there should be more or less 287 students participating in the study. Now, the next question is, how do we ensure that there is an equal representation of participants from each level? considering that the population of each level differs from one another. Grade 7, 229, Grade 8, 276, Grade 9, 272, and Grade 10, 235, respectively. Now, to address this problem, we use the disproportionate stratified random sampling. In disproportionate sampling, each stratum will have a different sampling fraction. So the success of this sampling method depends on the researcher's precision at, uh, at fraction allocation. If the allotted fractions aren't accurate, the results may be biased due to the overrepresented or underrepresented strata. Now here are the steps in selecting a proportional stratified sample. First, we identify the strata into which the population has been subdivided. Now, we already identified that, so we indicated the number of students per level. So, the next is to determine the number of respondents to be selected from each stratum in the population. And we calculate that proportion by following this uh, formula, where P equals N over big N, where N is the sample size, and the big N is the total population. Using the given formula, so we'll divide the population of each uh, strata or level to the total population of the whole uh, department. So that's going to be 229 over 1012 for grade 7. Uh, it will give us 0 0.2263 or 22.63 percent. Now for grade 8, 276, the population of grade 8 over 1012, it will give us 0 0.2727 or 27.27 percent. And for grade 9, 272 is the population over the total population of the whole department, that's uh, 0 0.2688. For grade 10, so there are 235 students, so divided by the total population 1,012 will give us 0 0.2322 or 23.22%. Next is we need to multiply the target number of respondents in each stratum by the obtained proportion. Now the calculated proportion will then be multiplied by the total target number of respondents which is 287 as identified using the Slovens formula. So in grade 7, the answer was 22.63 or 0 0.02263 multiplied by 287. Uh, the answer is 64.9. You round it off. It will give you 65 students from grade 7. So following the same procedure, so in grade 8, the answer was 0 0.2727. You multiply that with the number of total target respondents, which is 287. The answer is 78.20. For grade 9, 272 over 1,012 uh, gives us 0 0.2688. Multiplied by 287, you have the product 77.13, or there should be 77 grade 9 students. Grade 10, 235 divided by 1012 will give us 0 0.2322. Multiply that with by 287, it will give us 66.64 or 67 students now to check you need to make sure that you'll be uh, having 287 total number of students in the sample so 65 plus 78 plus 77 
plus 67, um, that's going to be 287. So that's correct. So that's it for today. So I hope you learned something about stratified random sampling. Thank you for watching.